actually going to be a book haul and I'm pretty excited because um, last year I had bought um, some Debbie Maker book lots off of eBay from this particular seller and I bought about, I want to say four different lots on four different, um, like different occasions. And then COVID happened and she hadn't had books for quite some time because I think she actually imports these from America. I could be wrong. I don't know. But she had one last week and I jumped on that thing and I bought it. So it was $9 for the book lot and then obviously I had to pay shipping. Um, so I bought it. Now there were a few books in there that I already do have which is fine. I just resell those on and then keep the books that I don't have. So let's start with what I got. The first book that I have got in here is called That Summer Place and it's actually a binder by three different authors. So it's got Debbie May Kramer, Susan Wiggs and Jill Barnett and this is what it looks like. I actually already have this edition, so this one is one of the, going to be one of the ones that I do sell on. Um, I literally have no idea what any of these books are about. I just really, really like um, Debbie May Cromer's um, writing. Um, but the three books that are in this bind up is Old Things by Jill Barnett, Private Paradise, um, Private Paradise by Debbie May Comer and Island Time by Susan Wiggs. Um, this is actually on my list to read. I want to try and read um, this one this month because we're in summer here. Well, actually, we're in the last month of summer here in Australia, and this is definitely a perfect summer read um, for that. So there's the first book. Okay, the next book I have is this one. It is called Always Dakota. Um, so all the rest of the books now are Debbie May Comer books. Now, this one it does have a giant sticker on the front of it. I hate when places put stickers on books. And it's been written on up the top there. Um, but it is what it is. These books aren't in, like, some of it, the, the conditions of these books are varying, put it that way. Which is why they're so cheap, which is totally fine. This is actually the third book in the Dakota, um, it says trilogy, but there's actually more than three books in this series now. There's about four or five, I think. No, four. Four books. So it is actually a series now. Um, but this one's um, Always Dakota, like I said. And I actually already own this um, one. I own it in a newer bind up. So you've got volume one, which is books one and two, and volume two, which is books three and four. So I already have this one, and um, this one is going to be sold on. The next book I have is Dakota Born, which is the first book in the Dakota series. Um, again, like I said, I already own this, so this one will get sold on as well. But one thing I will say is I really love the artwork on these books. I think these books are beautiful. I love them. Um, this one does have a sticker on the front as well, which is, like, annoying. Um, but I think this one's in not too bad of a condition. Like, there are obviously cracking in the spine but it doesn't look too bad and like the really cool thing about a lot of like Debbie May Comer's books are they were written a lot of them either before I was born or just after I was born but they are still so relevant to today like they they age really well so let me just actually see um let's have a look here so, Private Paradise, which is the Debbie May Comer one, and this one was written in 1988, so in the 90s, you guys. And then Always Dakota was written in... This one I think is a little bit newer. Yeah, so this one was written in 2000. And then this one was in... Uh, 1999, so the end of the 90s. This one's going to get sold on as well, because like I said, I already have this one. Um, and then the next book I have is this one, which is The Inn at Rose Harbor. I already own this book, um, and I've already read this book. Um, so this one actually has been turned into a Hallmark series as well. So this is the Cedar Cove series. This is book one. Um, I actually really enjoyed this book. I thought it was a really, really cute, fun, and emotional sort of read this one. And definitely worth 
definitely worth it. But this one's going to get sold on as well. Now onto the books that I don't have that come in this lot, or that I didn't have I should say. And this is probably the worst condition book. It has cracking, like the spine is peeling right here and the pages are starting to pull away there. So I'm going to have to tape that, um, which is fine. It is what it is. Like I said, these books are in varying conditions and the fact that they're so cheap, you know, you really can't complain. So this one is called The Manning Sisters. I believe there is two stories in this. Let me just check. It, I'm positive this is a binder. Um, yes, yeah, so there is The Cowboy's Lady, which was published in 1990, and The Sheriff Takes a Wife, which is also published in 1990. I think this is just a duology, if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, I really love the watercolor look of the artwork on the front. I think it's beautiful, and I'm really looking forward to reading this as well. Um, I want to say this is set in Montana. Um, yeah, I think it's Montana this is set in. But I'm really interested in reading this one. I think, though, like I said, I just need to put a little bit of tape, like, on the spine just here to kind of hold that down a little bit, and it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, so there's that one. The next one I have is actually a little bit, actually a lot of better condition. Um, this is 1022 Evergreen Place. This is from the Cedar Cove, um, Cedar Cove, what do you call it, series. Oh, actually, I call this one the Cedar Cove. This is a Rose Harbor series. I believe this is a spin-off off the Cedar Cove series, if I'm not mistaken, sorry. I just, I was looking at the, the Hallmark thing on the back and it just said Cedar Code series. I am wrong. This is the Cedar Code series and the other one is like a secondary series. Um, I literally have no idea what the Cedar Code series is about. I have not read the Cedar Code series, um, but I am looking forward to it. So I have this book. I literally have no idea what number of the book this is. I think it might be 10. Um, but it's in pretty decent condition, like it has been read, you can tell, but it's not like crazy or anything like that. And this particular one was published in 2010, so it's a little bit of a newer one in comparison to a lot of the others that I have. The next book I have is also from the Cedar Cove um, series and... This one is called 1105 Yakima Street. I want to say this is book 11 in that series. Um, I cannot wait to read this series, you guys. And this one was published in 2011. So like I said, a little bit newer. And I found some of these books have dates written in the front of them and I'm guessing it's the date of when the person that previously owned it read them. So this one says um, the 16th of the 8th 2016 is when I started it. So was that August the 16th and then I finished it on the 2nd of September in 2016. So yeah, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Oh, I just found in the back of the book a list. They've got, they've, there's a little list in the back. Someone's written and it's got, on a sticky note, it's got beach list, binoculars, PBJ on bun, water, small, towel, chair, sunglasses, phone, and lotion. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so there's that one. The next one I have is 311 Pelican Court. I believe this is book number three. Um... This one's in actually really pretty good condition as well. This one says the person read it on the 16th of December to the 27th of December. I'm assuming in the same year um, that the other book was. And then it was published in 2003, so um, newer compared to some of the other ones, but you know. And then the very last book I have is Seven. T4 Seaside Avenue. This is, I want to say, book seven in the series. This one has a different cover. So these ones here are the newer covers. And these are the more original covers. They're like a kind of like a watercolor, whereas this is an actual like photographic sort of picture. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I still love, love, love this. So book seven, um, this is in fairly decent condition as well. It does some have like some cracking on the spine and there's a sticker on the front. I friggin' hate stickers on books. Um, this one was published in 2007, you guys. And this is actually an X. Um, not a library book, but it says this book belongs to McKinney Senior Recreation Center. <laughs> so I'm guessing they didn't want it anymore and got rid of it. Um, some of these actually have, um, let me see, some of these do actually come from places that I saw on one of the other books here. Let me see. Um... So this one says it's from Punta Gorda Library. I have no idea, no idea where that is. So this is an ex, ex library book, but it doesn't have any library like stickers or anything. I'm wondering if that's the reason why the spine is damaged is they might have had something taped there and when they pulled it off, it's like damaged the spine. I don't know, I could be wrong here, but I feel like that's what it is. Anyway guys, that's everything. Um, that is my little mini haul. Um, I do actually have another book haul coming, but I will tell you what happened. So I got a $5 voucher from Dimmix for my birthday and they were like, hurry up, spend it. You've got until the 31st of um, January to spend this. And I was like, crap, it's only a few days away. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put in like a decent size order. So I put through, I went onto the Dimmix website because I don't have time to go into a bookstore. Um, I went onto their website, I found a bunch of books that I wanted, and it said on the book site, like, 5 to 10, or 7 to 10 business days, right? I was like, yeah, that's fine, whatever, cool. So I ordered it, and it comes to, like, $100 after, um, I paid for shipping and everything, and then I got the $5 discount, right? And then I ordered that on... The 30, 31st actually, so that was a Sunday, and then I get an email on the Tuesday or the Wednesday, like a few days later, saying, um, your order will be shipped in part, so when these books arrive, we'll ship, like, you know, ship them, but, um, expected delivery is not until the 22nd of frigging March, you guys. I was like, are you freaking kidding? In March. It said on the website, 7 to 10 business days, and now you're telling me the 22nd of March. So I go back on the website, and I was like, what the hell? So I clicked on some of the books that I had ordered, and then the time frame has now changed on there. So I was like, are you kidding me? So I'm so mad about that, but it is what it is now. I was just like, I've already ordered the damn thing. I've already used the mat on like the voucher. So I'm just going to have to wait. I don't know if it, like, will actually take that long, but that's what it says on there for expected delivery. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> but when that comes, I will show you that book haul as well. So anyway, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this little mini Debbie Maycomer book haul. Um, if I get any more, I'll definitely show you. And um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.